Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So as you can see, I got it in the garage. Um, for those of you that uh, follow the channel and just not here for one reason only, but uh, you know, I got it fit in the garage. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to fit the other, the car in here and the trailer. If I do, I have to shift it that way uh, about another foot. And then what I'm gonna have to do is obviously put this little trailer you know, for the drag and drive trailer here, when I get it uh, done, put it on top of the trailer here so I can make room to put the car in over here. So what we're going to do now is uh, I'm getting ready to uh, take a look at the brakes. Um, you know, the electric brakes, make sure they're in good shape. Uh, I think they're the original brakes on this trailer. Um, the reason I say that is it still has the original battery uh, to run the winch and the uh, power uh um hitch or whatever that whatever you want to call that thing to you know move the trailer up and down i guess uh see i took both fenders off um so that way it, i'll have easier access once i peel the tires off um what i'm going to do is i'm just going to pull the fronts uh, because what i've done is uh, i've used it to raise the front of the trailer up and you know the front tires are just loose and rolling so what i'm going to go ahead and do is pull those off first Check the brakes on those real quick. If the brakes look good on those, I'm not going to check the rears, uh, but I am going to check all the bearings real good. And probably, uh, I'm going to guess the bearings have not been maintenanced at all, um, you know, since this was built new. And I'm going to go ahead and, you know, clean all the bearings, inspect them, repack them, um, just put some new grease seals on to make sure everything's good because I don't want to make a, you know, 20 hour trip to Florida in February, which is what I'm getting ready to do. Um, you know, and have a wheel bearing go bad, you know, something like that. Uh, or the brakes, you know, not work. They work great on the ride home because uh, I just purchased the trailer. But now let me go ahead and peel the front tires off. We'll pull the drums off. We'll take a look at the brakes and see what kind of condition the shoes are in. Uh, like I said, everything seemed to work good. So let me go ahead and get set up. Let me go ahead and peel these uh, tires off and then we'll go from there. Just a quick note, guys. Well, you know, I do have, you know, this right raised up so I can get to the front tires and spin it. Safety first, always safety, right? Put jack stands under your trailer uh, just in case, you know, you accidentally roll the trailer, um, something like that. You know, you've got jack stands under here to keep it from dropping and preventing injury. So guys, we only need a couple of basic tools um, once we get the tire off to uh, inspect the brakes. So this is a dust cap remover, obviously small little screwdriver and a pair of channel locks. So let me go ahead and remove the tire here real quick and then we'll take it apart and see what we see. All right, now that we have the tire out of the way, what we can do is, you know, you've got your bearing buddy right here. You can just remove this, and there's a grease circ right in here. You can just take a grease gun and grease your bearings. But since this is a new to me trailer, I'm gonna go ahead and pop off. Now, there is this little bearing retainer right here. Or I'm sorry, a nut retainer. Um, it's basically, I need it clips over the nut. Um, so all you need to do is take it, lift up a little bit on the tab in a couple spots. And there you go. Comes right off. Uh, so you can see here, basically, you know, you can see those little tabs. It clips over top of the nut and springs on. So you just need to give it a little pry and this will pop right off. Then from there, 
Take your nut off. Now, there is a washer also next, and then the bearing. So all you need to do, just start to wiggle it a little bit. You can see, now the nut comes off, or, you know, I'm sorry, the washer, and then the bearing pops out. Now that that's out, you can just simply slide the drum off. And there you go. So it's that easy to remove a drum to inspect your brakes. All right, guys, so here's a little bit more of a close-up of what I was just talking about. You can see the puck down here. You can see it slides in and out nice and free. You know, so when you apply the brakes right, the puck will come out, apply against here to help with the braking. Um, and then obviously you can see the shoe material. You can see what I'm talking about here. So if you notice, here's the material, here's the steel. Okay, that the you know the pad attaches to. So the rule of thumb I always go by is when you start getting to be the same thickness, if this is getting to be about the same thickness as the steel, seriously time to uh, consider replacing your brakes. And then you can see here the cables. You know they're nice and clean. They're not all rusted. You can see like all this is nice and clean. You know these are all good and clean. You can see what I mean about. You can still see the color. On the springs here, those are in great shape. You know, the wiring is out of the way. You know, I don't see where it's frayed, you know, where it's damaged. Um, the wiring looks to be all in good condition as well here. Um, and then you can see here, you know, let me get you a little better light. You know, this, you can see this is not grooved at all. It's not rusted seriously. Again, you look at, you know, this is where the puck rides. It's nice and clean as well. You can see the seat, you know, the grease seal is in great condition. Um, you know, no damage to anything. So I'm going to go ahead and, like I said, just kind of wipe this up a little bit. Hit it with a little brake clean just to clean it out. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the drum back on. And I'll show you how to adjust how I adjust it. Um, you know, to make sure that uh, I get the, you know, nice uh, preload on this. Uh, it's pretty simple, really. Um, so anyway, let me go ahead and just kind of clean this up a little bit. And then I'll go ahead and put the drum back on and show you guys how I adjust it. Alright guys, so um, everything's cleaned up, ready to go back together. We just simply, carefully, set our drum back up here. There she goes. Now I'm going to go ahead and put a little fresh grease on the bearing. And make sure you use a good high temp grease. Uh, I'm using Lucas Oil um, greases. Uh, I had good luck with their products, so that's what I'm using. Um, I can put a, try to remember to put a link in the description, but I like to use Lucas Oil products uh, for their lubricants and greases. So we'll just put a little on here, slip the bearing in. Okay. Remember to put the washer on next. You notice this is a D shape, right? Here's a flat and then the circle portion. So just feel, here's the flat on mine on this side. So put your flat on here. Like so. Then take your nut. Spin your nut on.
Take your pliers and just kind of run her down. Now I run it down to where she's basically tight right there and I always spin it when doing it. You know, just kind of spin it again. You don't want to take it and you don't want to crank on it. If you crank on it, you're going to be putting too much load on your bearing. Uh, I like to run it snug and then I'll just back it off a hair. So run it snug like so, check it, you know, back it off just a hair. It's a feel thing, that's how I like to do it. Um, please go to the manufacturer's recommended, you know, procedures and specs when you do it. Um, but this is how I've always adjusted mine, I've always had good luck. So again, I don't wanna put too much preload on it, but not, you know, get her in good shape. She spins nice and free. Remember to put this cage piece back on to hold the nut in place so it doesn't back off. Again, it's got the D-flat here and then the circular portion, so make sure you put your D-flat portion again in the same location. And snap it on. This snapped in place so the nut won't back off on us and it's, you know, locked in and it's caged on so you can't remove it. Now what we can do is I'm going to put the, uh, the bearing buddy cap back on and actually need to go grab a rubber mallet real quick. Let me go get a rubber mallet. All right, so I've got my rubber mallet. Give her a little left tap. All right. So now we've got it all back together. The last thing to do is put this on, but before I do that, I'm gonna give her a few pumps of grease here. Spins like butter, nice and smooth. Now we can put our little rubber cap over top of this back in here. And we're all done. So that's how you do a brake inspection on your trailer brakes. Uh, to make sure that you know your shoes aren't getting too worn. Um, how to grease your bearings uh, with a bearing buddies type setup. How to inspect uh, you know, your spindle. Um, you know, you basically just want to check it out. Uh, obviously, if you start seeing metal shavings um, in your bearing, uh, then it's, you know, it's, if you feel your hubs and they're getting real hot, uh, you know, they should be cool to the touch or warm to the touch. But obviously, if they're real hot, you probably got a bearing going bad. Um, and I would definitely service it as quickly as possible um, before you damage the spindle. Um, you know, destroy the, the hub here um, as well because you can knock out the races and put new races and new bearings. You know, it's not that difficult. Um, it's pretty easy to do. Uh, I'll have a video coming out soon of how you can do that. But uh, that's how basically you at least inspect your trailer brakes. Check your wiring, um, you know, make sure everything's functioning properly. If you wanted to, you could hook this up to your truck right now. Um, push the brake pedal and obviously your brake controller should apply the puck and you should feel this also then you would not be able to rotate it. So that's how you can also check to make sure that they're functioning properly. Obviously if there's a lot of rust inside of here, um, you know, where it has not been applying and working, you'll notice that as well. Uh, so if this was heavily corroded inside, where you, you saw it, maybe it's working here, but maybe the puck isn't applying, um, you know, then you know you have an issue. Again, you really, it, you really almost need to purchase a whole setup. So anyway, I hope this video guys helps you out, at least do an inspection on your brakes uh, to make sure that uh, what to look for, to see if they're working properly. Again, you can see that, you know, you saw the shiny metal, my brakes were working properly, I've got 
plenty of material still on here. Um, I went ahead and lubed my bearings up. So I'm gonna go ahead and now do this to the other three and uh, just to make sure everything's looking good. This is a, a somewhat of a simple video, guys. Um, you know, so I, I just purchased this um, myself. This is a new to me trailer. Uh, you know, it drove fine on the way home. The brakes work good. But again, you know, before I put a load, uh, you know, which is my 1970 Dodge Dart Swinger on the trailer, um, you know, I wanted to make sure that, you know, the brakes are working fine, you know, that I'm not gonna, you know, try, when I go to stop, right? Uh, the brakes don't work and, you know, it's basically the car and the trailer are gonna, you know, push my truck through a stoplight, a stop sign, something, you know? So uh, that's the whole purpose for doing a good inspection. Also, I'm gonna be taking my vehicle from Michigan to Florida in February. Um, so I wanna service uh, everything now, um, you know, so I don't have any problems on the road in the winter time. So that's why I'm also making sure my brakes are in good shape, you know, my bearings are in great shape, you know, um, lubricate them, uh, you know, add, a, re, add some fresh grease to them, make sure they spin nice and free, you know, that I've done the maintenance and I feel good about what I've done. Anyway, guys, I hope this helps you out. Uh, you know, please like, subscribe, hit the little bell, you know, feature content. Uh, I got tons of different stuff that I do, so I appreciate y'all watching. Have a great afternoon, day, evening, whatever, weekend, and I'll talk to y'all in the next upload. Take care.